This right here is just sad, guys. Just sad. Could be so much money in there. What's up, guys? Man, fun fact for you: uh, that St. Vincent's that you just saw is the exact store uh, that I bought my very first book to sell on Amazon. It was a uh, art teaching book, something you know a book for an art teacher to teach their students with I paid maybe two dollars for it I don't really remember uh, I know it wasn't much though so I, I would say about two bucks and I sold it for ninety nine dollars and that got me hooked on books so I wanted to make this video outside but I don't know if you just heard it like an airplane just went by so I'm really close next to Lovefield Airport and there's a lot of noise going on outside I feel like I shoot a lot of videos inside the car uh so i'm trying to get outside but oh well not today um i stopped coming to st vincent's because they started putting their barcode over the barcode of the book so i couldn't just go in there and just scan easily right i had to either uh type in isbn's or i had to push their sticker up just enough so that i could scan the barcode uh so it was just a lot more trouble than i i than it was worth for me uh, i didn't want to go through those extra steps just to find books so i started uh going to other places and i stopped coming here but uh, it's been a few months since I've been to a St. Vincent's, uh, so I'm going to roll in there and see if they're still doing that, still putting their sticker on top of the barcode, uh, and we'll see what I can find. Um, I've also been able to kind of develop my eye for books and, and titles to know kind of what's profitable and what's not, um, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to just look for interesting titles or or niche subjects that I can um, just type in the ISBNs on those and see if they're profitable or not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try. Uh, so I'm going to head in there now. Let's go. This right here is just sad, guys. Just sad. There could be so much money in there. And it's all kind of wet. It rained, so look at that book. Damaged goods. There's no telling how much money's in here. get to work this is what I'm talking about super frustrating they don't do it to them all All right, guys, so came out of there with about 15 books. They aren't putting the stickers on all of them over the barcode, so there was some that I could scan. Uh, so I scanned, you know, a little bit, not a lot, um, but came out of there with 15 books, so that was pretty good. Uh, I eyeballed a couple of them, did all right. Didn't do fantastic, but uh, uh, I bought some books, so. Um, the bonus was the uh, Toshiba DVD combo player, which was awesome. Um, here comes a plane. So I found that tucked away in a nice little corner. There is no current FBA offer on that uh, player and um, it's going 
merchant for about 130 so I'm thinking I can get at least 150 out of it maybe even more paid 15 bucks so uh, that was the awesome find of the day um, probably made about $200 in this stop estimated there's another plane now there were a few books that I left behind because the prices were just too damn high there were some books in there for five dollars and that one baseball book um, that I showed that really big thick book it's on Amazon right now for about uh, $45 so I could buy that book and flip it and make you know $25 probably profit on it but the problem is that buy cost of that book is 20 bucks so it wouldn't be worth it um, but uh, talking to the cashier she told me tomorrow it's 40% off so I might come back and pick it up tomorrow because yeah, there's 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 still profit there there's still potential there uh, but there was about probably five books that I left behind just because of price uh, it, it wouldn't be worth my time to pay that price uh, and send that in but tomorrow I'll come back um, I'll scoop up those five books and um, send them in cuz 40% off man and that 40% off is enough to justify it and uh, give me that profit I'll spend you know what 12 bucks on that big ass baseball book send it in and get back um, you know 25 in profit so I'll do it why not it's money and here comes another plane On to the next one. Alright guys, we have arrived at Salvation Army Thrift Store. Uh, I do pretty well here. I can usually pull a good amount of books, but the problem here is buy cost. Some of these books are going to cost up to $5 a piece. Um, but usually what I do is I just average out my cost of goods. So whatever whatever I spend, you know, my whole day sourcing, uh, you know, I divide that amount by the total amount of, of books that I got, and I'll get my um, cost per book, which is usually about a buck fifty uh, to two bucks at the most. Um, so it works. Uh, you can spend more money per book that way if you average out your buy cost. Uh, but don't go crazy because you don't want to uh, spend too much money on a book. Uh, but let's head in, see what I can find and how much I spend here. We'll see. All right, guys, so we did really well at that Salvation Army. I pulled 21 books at about uh, $35 cost. You guys can see right here, 21 books, $34.95. Good deal, right? Good deal. Uh, so that was awesome. I was happy with it because I just got done saying that I usually pull a lot of books from there. So I'm glad that I actually did 21 books plus about the 15 that I already got. Uh, so we're at sitting at a good number, you know, 35 books or so. Um, so I'm outside of this Goodwill. This is going to be my third and final stop. Uh, I promised the wife I'd be home by five for dinner. Uh, so that's the beauty of being your own boss and, and having your own business is being able to set your own schedule. Uh, so I love it. Absolutely love it. Anyways, uh, this is my last stop. I'll go in. Hopefully I can get another 15, 20 books and call it a day. Those books with that DVD combo that I got should make for a nice profit uh, for the few hours that I worked on this so um, I'll show you everything I get as usual at the end of the video check it out Right, guys good things happened there I uh, pulled out 31 books and I think what six uh, VCR or DVD combos um, a lot of money was sitting there man a lot of money just sitting on that shelf so I took it 
by cost. Buy cost was about $110, but I'll make that back with one of those VCR sales. Just one. It's incredible. So, these three stops, I got, I don't know, 55, 60 books and six or seven VCR DVD combos. I'm going to call this like a $1,000 profit day at least. Easy money, folks. And I only worked for a few hours. So now it's time to go home, enjoy my family, enjoy my dinner. I'll see you guys at the end of the video and show you all the profit. Check it out. So this is my test. Here I'm looking at the center of the screen. Here I'm looking to the left of the screen. Here I'm looking at the little dot that records. So which one is better to see with? Am I giving you good eye contact right now? <laughs>